last go around against FSU. Uh, is, uh, 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 you can probably that kind of hit on Saturday. Uh, how, how big is that? You know, playing Shannon, FSU for the last time. How meaningful is it for you? It's very big. You know, uh, you know, not just being my last year, but because FSU, you know, the tradition this game has behind it. You know, all the great guys that played played in this game. You know, so I'm looking forward to it. Does it feel different than other weeks because it is FSU? Just a little uh, buzz among the players. No, nah, not really. You know, we, we try to approach every game the same. You know, we know it's FSU. We know it's a, a, a big rivalry. You know, uh, we grew up watching this game, and uh, we just we just proud to be a, a part of. It. Sean, what did you describe what it was like being on the field during last year's game? I mean, uh, it, was, it was a sick feeling. You know, uh, we got came out and got beat on our home field. You know, not not in a close game, but you know they beat us bad. So we just we just out there competing, making sure you know we we're doing our job. You know, and it was a horrible feeling. Is that something that you guys try to remember this nah, week? I mean, nah. in terms of you know, we just want to come out and do our job and play our brand of football. You know, it's not a revenge game. It's not a get back game. You know, it's a, a ACC game that we're trying to win. Sean, did you envision this being like this, or did you think this game would be bigger at this point in your in your career winning down here? Oh, it's still big to me. You know, I think the game gonna be big no matter uh we're not ranking in a top twenty five or whatever our records is, you know, uh, like I said, this game has tremendous history so it's always gonna be big. Sean, what do you remember about Jacory's performance up there a couple years ago? Oh uh, yeah, he was lights out. I remember that game, you know, uh he, it's like he couldn't miss. You know, he was on uh, losing tackles in the backfield, throwing strikes for Travis. And I uh, hope we can get that again this this year. Do you feel like he's he's kind of back to being that quarterback he was then, confidence wise? Yeah, play he's in his own right now. You know, uh, I expect it. Uh, you know, I, I seen him do it for you know two years, three years in high school, and uh, so it's not really a shock to me. You know, I'm just happy to see him going out there competing and having fun. What is there uh, any feedback from like former players? Because obviously they think it's as big as you are. And you're yeah, I, I haven't talked to any of the guys yet, but I know they'll be watching. You know, this is an important game to them, even though they're not playing. Do you have friends on Florida State? Yeah, I know a couple of the guys. Uh, Niles Bradham, uh, the running back, Devontae Freeman, he's from down here. So I know a couple of the guys. DJ Manuel, who played in the All Star game here. Yeah. Do you keep in touch with them? No, I haven't talked to them. Okay. Last, I haven't talked to them in a while. What do you think about Coach Golden's ban on? On you guys talking to any of the Florida State guys this week? Oh, it, it, it should it, it should be that way. You know, uh, we're friends off the field, but on the field, you know, it's wartime, and that goes for everybody. Sean, how, how have they been able to turn it around? They they had a pretty bad start to the season. Uh, how have they been? What have they done to turn it around? Who Florida State? Yeah, Florida State. Oh, uh, they have tremendous athletes. You know, I get Coach Jimbo Fish been doing a great job. You know, uh, they've been executing on all systems on offense. You know, as usual, they have a great. Great defense with a lot of team speed, so you know it's not. It's, it's pretty easy to turn around. We have those guys over there. What kind of threat does EJ Manuel? Uh, he's a dual threat. You know he can make all the throws. You know uh, the players never over with him. You know I don't seen him um, break tackles in the backfield and throw a, a 60 yard bomb. So you know we have to be on that. Make sure we have proper rush lanes and make sure we're covering our guys for more than six seconds. I think the general perception from this year is that the defense hasn't played great, that you guys are third in the ACC and yeah. have points allowed. Mm -hmm. So is that uh, an, an accurate perception that you guys haven't played well this year? Or you know, we gave up some runs, you know, but they're all fixed. You know, uh, every time we gave a big play because the guys missed an assignment. Uh, but we found a way to flip the switch down to the red zone. You know, that's the most important thing, uh, keeping points off the board. Mm -hmm. John, how's the process for Coach Goldman coming so far here? Do you see what this is going to be. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see, I can feel it. You know, uh, Coach Golden doing a great job here at this program. You know, uh, I hope, I wish I had a couple more years with him, but uh, I don't, and I know uh, next year is, is going to be, uh, the sky's the limit. With this being your last year, I've gone to Florida State. Have you kind of given yourself a chance to kind of see some of the bigger picture stuff and kind of feel the importance there, or are you just so focused as far as uh, the game itself? Yeah, I'm focused on the game. You know, uh, like I said, it's, gonna be a, it's a great ride. It's going to be a great game, so, you know, I'm focusing hard on that. But are you going to allow yourself any sort of timing when you step out on the field in front of 82,000 people and you realize that this is going to be the last time? Is it going to sink in? Yeah, it probably hit me when I get out there. But for now, you know, I'm sticking to the process, making sure I'm watching film, you know, doing all the small things. Thanks, Sean. Sean, I just want to ask you.